peace and quiet. Because there's this old story from the time of the Buddha, it's one of my favorite stories, of this elephant. And this elephant was a really nice elephant. He belonged to the king. Now in those days, elephants were like your, your Mercedes or BMWs. You know, that's what you used to travel around the place with. So if you had a really good elephant, that was like you know, having like a Ferrari car or something, some with, you know, your prize vehicle. And so this really nice elephant and always been very um, obedient and very compliant until one day the elephant started getting a bit cranky. You know, he just wouldn't do you know, what he was told and would not sort of go where he was asked to go and start to really mess around just like when the elephant keeper was cleaning up you know, behind the elephant that's when the elephant would poo all over the elephant keeper and if you've seen how much an elephant poos that's a lot of poo. <laughs> ah. So the people looking after the elephant thought the elephant must be sick. It must have some sort of virus or something that is misbehaving. It's not its usual character. And they took the elephant doctor there, so it was a girl elephant, they took the elephant doctor there and they tried everything and nothing worked and then they maybe thought it was the elephant equivalent of menopause. You know what it is like sometimes. <laughs> and it was, the elephants don't have menopause. <laughs> and it was just, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with this elephant. And so in the end, according to this story, the Buddha's previous life, he was a minister and he said, I'll check this out. So what he did was actually go to the elephant stall and just stay there overnight, trying to find out what was going on. And in the middle of the night, he was woken up, the minister, there was some sort of weird sound behind the elephant stall in the middle of the night. Now if you woke up in the middle of the night and you heard weird sounds from behind your cottage, would you go outside to check or would you hide under your blankets? <laughs> Number one, you don't have anything to fear around here, Ajahn Brahms here, so you're perfectly safe, guaranteed, money back guarantee. And you don't pay any money anyway, well, except the deposit, which is a donation, but you can get that back if you really want to, but you're perfectly safe. So he decided to go and check it out. So he crept round the back of the elephant store, and what he found there, there was a gang. You know, these uh, bad people, you know, robbing and, and extorting money from others. They were meeting there every evening, because it was quiet, to plan all the stuff they were going to do that evening. And he realized the cause of the elephant's problems. Because the elephant was actually picking up on what they call the bad vibes of these, these crooks and gangsters, even though the elephant couldn't understand you know, the English or whatever language they were saying, still you could pick up sort of the, the character of these bad people. And night after night after night, the elephant had picked up this bad character and had started to become a bad elephant himself or herself. And the minister just had all those uh, gangsters arrested the next night and told the king and he replaced them with monks. So the monks had to meet there every evening, you know, do some meditation, a bit of chanting, discussing of, of Dharma and stuff like that. And after a few days the elephant came back to his normal character just because of the good influence of others. And that's a very powerful story which the Buddha said. It's a story about the nature of the mind, psychology. If you hang around and associate with peaceful people, you become peaceful yourself no matter what happens. It's one of the reasons why people like coming to stay at Buddhist monasteries or nunneries. Because you know, they sort of, uh, they link in to the peaceful and kind energies of the monks and nuns. And so you come and stay in the monastery and you get calmer and more peaceful and more kind. But the problem